So I actually grew up here in Bristol. Um, I went to Tennessee High, uh, graduated there and went to ETSU for criminal justice. I've always been interested in it uh, since as long as I can remember. And then, you know, the older you get, the, the more I see that it was an actual good fit for me and, you know, helping others and serving other people and all the cool stuff that comes along with being a police officer. I did not start um, straight out of college. I spent about nine years in restaurant management. Um, and then from there, I worked in marketing for a couple of years. Um, and then I decided I'm not getting any younger and it's what I've always wanted to do and I'm not gonna live with the regret of, of not doing what I've always wanted to. So I took that test and went through that process um, twice actually. Uh, this, the second time it started in September of 2019 and I ended up getting hired July 6th of 2020. I guess Bristol makes sense for me because I grew up here. It's home to me and you know I, I wanted to be a part of the community and in a way of helping others and you know I, the police department's a great way of doing that. Um, the more familiar I am with the area I feel like the more benefit it was to me uh, to work for this department. I, I think it's a little different now from when I got hired on um, but typically you apply you do your basic testing and you go through a series of interviews uh, panel interviews with the chief after your background and all those things are approved um, you do go to the police academy um, I went to Walter State it was a nine-week program I know that some officers are going to different ones that are at different lengths now um, but after the initial nine-week process um, at the police academy you start a three-month field training um, program here and at that point you're released on your own. The thing I liked about patrol was being out and being active and interacting with people. It's not your typical office job. It's more fun. Um, you never know what's going to happen from one call to the next. It's it's always exhilarating. I spent about a year and a half on night shift. Um, from night shift I went to day shift for uh, about a year and a half. The opportunity came up to go to the criminal investigations division, so I put in for that and went through the interview process and was selected to be a detective. Being in criminal investigations is definitely different from patrol. Um, you know, it's a lot more paperwork and court and interviews and surveillance and, and things of that nature. So from day to day it still differs. Um, but you're doing more of the deep dive into cases um, that patrol doesn't typically have the time to do. So, you know, requesting records from banks or interviewing people involved, whether victim or suspect in certain cases. Um, it's more of the, the back end that more extensive investigations takes for a case is what we usually do. My job duties include financial crimes primarily, um, I assist with the sex offender registry as well as uh, vulnerable adult cases working with um, APS or Adult Protective Services, um, whether that be physical abuse, neglect, financial exploitation, things of those, things of that nature. One of my big goals was to be on the SWAT team um, and I have that now so um, I'm just going to continue training um, and going to as many training courses and classes and schools that I can. Um, and you know, maybe going back to patrol in a supervisor position one day. Outside of work, I enjoy being outdoors, you know, hiking, camping, um, anything with water, beach, lake, whatever it is. I like being active. Anything active and, and you know, being outside. I feel like we're confined inside so much, especially in this kind of weather, so any opportunity I get to go outside and do something, I, I take advantage of that.